Bournemouth 2-1 Crystal Palace, Junior Stanislas Nets winning penalty. Bournemouth maintained their best start to a Premier League season with a 2-1 victory over Crystal Palace on Monday night football. David Brooks opened the scoring with a peach of a left-footed strike, 5, but Palace improved after the break and leveled through Patrick Van Anhalt, 55, despite him looking a yard offside. The spoils looked set to be shared, but junior Stanislas hit the winning goal from the penalty spot, 86, after referee Mike Dean had spotted an elbow from Mamadou Sacco on Jefferson Lerma. Eddie Howe's men are unbeaten in their last 12 Premier League games against teams outside the Big Six. Eddie Howe made two changes from the 4-0 Premier League loss at Burnley last time out with Lewis Cook and Simon Francis returning while Max Meyer replaced Chiku Kalyate in Palace's only change from their 0-0 draw with Newcastle. The Londoners lacked a cutting edge in the final third as their tally of just five goals in their seven league matches will be a worry for Roy Hodgson moving forward. Palace had kept clean sheets in their last three games in all competitions but it took the creative Bournemouth attackers just five minutes to open up the visitors. Adam Smith sped down the left and crossed for Callum Wilson, who held the ball up before setting up Brooks. He hadn't scored from any of his 12 shots so far this season but buried this one into the top corner with a top-class strike, his first goal since joining for pound 11.5 million from Sheffield United. Bournemouth, Bogovic, 6, Francis, 6, Ake, 8, Smith, 7, S. Cook, 6, L. Cook, 6, Lerma, 6, Brooks, 7, Fraser, 7, Wilson. 6, King, 6 Subs, Gosling, 6, Stanislas, 7 Crystal Palace, Hennessy, 6, Van Anhalt, 7, Tompkins, 6, Sacco, 6, Wan Bissaka, 7, Milivojevic, 6, Meyer, 6, MacArthur, 6, Townsend, 6, Zaha, 6, U, 6 Subs, Schliep, 6, Kalyate, 6, Sorloth, Six man of the match, Nathan Ake after a lackluster first half showing, where they hardly tested as Merbagovic, Palace responded by stepping up the intensity in their play and were level on 55 minutes. Wilfried Zaha, quiet up until this point, found a clever pass to the galloping Van Anhalt, who looked half a yard offside. The flag stayed down though and the full back sent a soaring right footed strike into the net, which was his fifth goal in his last 11 appearances. Neither team were settling for just a point and it was the hosts who produced the decisive, match-winning moment. From a set piece, Sacco stupidly raised an arm into the face of Lerma and Dean had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. Substitute Stanislas had only been on the pitch for three minutes but he stayed cool to fire his team to all three points. Both teams are back in action on Saturday when the Cherries take a trip to Watford while Crystal Palace hosts Wolves. Jeff gave away £1.5 million last month. And are your predictions to be the next winner here?